Magandang araw po ng uh, Webes sa inyong lahat. Ngayon po ay uh, December 31, 2020. Huling uh, araw ng uh, buwang Disyembre ng taong 2020. Sister Lulu, are you there? Ah, uh, come here. Baka nagpapaputo ka na dyan ng ano, ha? Pag-alimitador, <laughs> ha? <laughs> okay, pwede bang uh, pangunahan mo kami sa uh, prayer? Pwede ka na siguro dito. Okay, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sige, sister. Purihin ng Panginoon. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, Father God, Lord, maraming salamat po sa hapong ito. Maraming salamat po sa oras at sa mga taong nakikinig, Lord God, ngayon ng um, Cheer Up the World Works program. And Father God, Lord, we declare Lord God the victory of this program upang ma ma abot Lord God ang mga anak mo all over the world Lord God sa iba't ibang panig ng mundo Panginoon maraming maraming salamat po Lord God dahil muli namin Lord God um, maiintindihan pa lalo Panginoon ang iyong mga salita ang iyong mga uh, mga na mutawi, Lord God, na magbibigay ng lakas, Lord God, sa bawat isa, Lord God. And tulad po ng sabi mo sa iyong salita, Lord God, your uh, people are perishing because of lack of knowledge. And we thank you, Father God, for this program because we know, Lord God, that all the things, Lord God, na lalabas, Lord God, sa bibig, Lord God, ng aming pastor, Sid Kalinawan, Lord God, it Uh, meron po itong revelation na nagmumula sa inyo and it is anointed by the Holy Spirit and we thank you Father God na sa patuloy na pag-aaral namin ng iyong salita ito ay magbibigay kaliwanagan Lord God sa aming pag-iisip at magbibigay, magbibigay lakas Panginoon spiritually, mentally and emotionally Lord God sa bawat isang nakikinig Father God maraming anak mo Lord God at marami pa Lord God ang tatanggap kay Jesus Christ sa pamamagitan, Lord God, ng mga gawain ganito. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord God. We declare again the victory in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Lulu. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 So tayo po ngayon ay uh, uh, dumako muli sa pag-aaral po ng salita ng Diyos. It is about uh, speaking in tongues. Yes, opo. Uh, napakahalaga po na pag-aralan po natin sa ilan pong uh, webes ng ating pong pag-aaral. Ngayon po, inais ko pong ipakita po sa inyo ang mga nangyari noon, ang sabi ng Panginoong Isok Kristo, uh, antayin nyo ika ang pagbaba ng banal na Espiritu Santo na ipapadala ng Ama sa aking pangalan. At kung babasahin po natin ang Acts chapter 2, uh, may kita po natin doon, Acts chapter 2, Nung ang mga disipulo po ay nagkakatipon, babasahin ko po sa inyo from King James Version, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly, there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled. Mahalaga po yung word na yon. And they were all filled. All filled. Filled with the Holy Ghost or with the Holy Spirit. Pastor, ano pagkakaiba? What is the difference between Holy Ghost and Holy Spirit? They are the same. The difference is King James version. <laughs> Na? King James used Holy Ghost. Other, uh, other every version use Spirit, Holy Spirit. Now, verse 4. And they were all filled. All of them were filled with the Holy Ghost. And after that, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They all and began and began to speak with 
other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Makikita po natin, mga magulang ko kapatid, mga kapwa ko man na nampalataya sa Panginoong So Kristo, ang unang araw ng pagbaba ng banal na Espiritu Santo, the office of the Holy Spirit, as declared by our Lord Jesus Christ, na bababa ito, pagakit niya sa langit, ipapadala naman ng Ama ang banal na Espiritu Santo, ang Espiritu ng Diyos, in the name of Jesus. Okay? In the name of Jesus. At ang sabi ng Panginoong So Kristo, hindi na niya kayo iiwan magpakailan pa man siya inyong makakasama. At yung araw po ng Pentecostes na yon, and when the day of the Pente- and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, ang mga disipulong ito ng Panginoong Jesus ay nagkakatipon sa isang room. At sa kanila pong pagkakatipon, they are in one accord, in one place. They, uh, na, 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 nagtagpo-tagpo sila ron. Not to celebrate Pentecost, I believe, sapagkat those who are uh, celebrating Pentecost are outside the throne. These disciples are waiting for the promise of our Lord Jesus Christ ang pagbaba ng banal na Espiritu Santo. And on that day, when, when, uh, uh, when the day of Pentecost was fully come, yun yung pangyayaring yun, na nagkakatipon sila ron, bigla na lamang po, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Ang sabi nila, kada, bababa, kada, uh, mag-a-appear, uh, kada mag-a-offer ng Holy Spirit, kailangan may sound from heaven. Brothers and sisters, you must understand, you should understand, na ito po ay the, 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 the very first day ng ang banal na Espiritu ay nag-take over para po sa office dito sa mundong ito. Matapos umakit ang Panginoong Yesus sa langit, at yung araw na yon kaya po merong mighty, a rushing mighty wind, the sound of a rushing mighty wind. And the Bible says, and it filled all the house. Yung kanilang kinalalagyan o kinauupuan, nakaupo sila ron, hindi sila nagpapatuwad-tuwad, nagpapatit, patira pa. No? They were just sitting in one place, but in one accord, with one intention waiting for the Holy Spirit to come. At pagdating nga ng banal na Espiritu Santo, the Bible says in verse 2, And suddenly there came a, a sound from heaven as of a rushing, rushing mighty wind, and it filled, filled, napuno, napuno all the house where they were sitting. Ibig sabihin, kung ito po yung kanilang kinalalagyan, ibig sabihin, kung ito po'y napuno, ibig sabihin, sila ay natubog. Pag sinabing natubog, they were baptized. They were baptized. Natubog. Pero wala pa pong speaking in tongues doon na nangyari. Matapos po, hindi ibig sabihin nakalubog ka sa tubig, hindi ibig sabihin puno ka ng tubig. So sila po ay, uh, 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 yung, uh, 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 ang Holy Spirit, they, He filled the whole house. Then, matapos po silang matubog sa banal na Espiritu Santo, hallelujah, the Bible says, And there appeared unto them, and filled all the house where they were sitting, and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat, it's a pan of them. Ang sabi po ng uh, uh, isang version, uh, New Living Translation, Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them. Ibig sabihin, bumaba sa bawat isa. Matapos po silang mapuno ang bawa, ah, matapos po mapuno yung lugar ng presensya ng banal na Espiritu Santo, the Holy Spirit sat 
in each and every one of them and they were all filled at ang sabi at sila po ay napu napuno napuno matapos ah 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 yung room ay 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 mapuno nalubog sila sa presensya ng banal na Espiritu Santo mayamay ang banal <coughs> excuse me ang banal na Espiritu Santo ay sumaka nila sa bawat isa napuno sila at matapos nilang ma-receive ang Holy Spirit in them and and they were all filled ang sabi ng verse 4 with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Excuse me. Thank you, sir. <coughs> so, nung sila po ay napuspos, napuno ng banal na Espiritu Santo, karaka-raka, matapos silang mapuno, matapos silang matanggap ang Holy Spirit, They were, they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began at nagsimula. Sino daw ang nagsimula? They nagsimula silang magsalita sa iba't ibang wika. Ngunit yung sinasalita nila, ang nagsalita po ay sila, yung mga disipulo. Pero yung kanilang sinasalita ay bigay ng banal na Espiritu Santo. They began to speak in other tongues. <coughs> they began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Yun po yung unang araw ng pagbaba ng Espiritu Santo. Now, matapos po ang ilang taon, makikita naman natin ang Acts chapter 11. Acts chapter 11. Kung sisimulan po natin sa verse 15, ito po ang ating makikita. <coughs> sa pangyayari po actually ito po yung nangyari sa Acts chapter 10 din ngunit ito po ikuwento ni Paul sa mga taong kaharap niya ang sabi po ni Paul habang siya raw sa verse 15, and as began to speak, sabi ni Paul, so sa kanyang mga karap, mga Gentiles po ito, ang sabi niya, and, 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 and as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, as on us at the beginning. Ang sabi ni Paul sa kanyang mga kaharap, alam niyo mga Gentiles na ito, nung ako po'y nangangaral sa kanila ng Salta ng Diyos ng Kaligtasan, Apa, ang Holy Spirit ay bumaba din sa kanila katulad nung una na nangyari sa atin. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, the same kind. Ibig sabihin, ano ba ang nangyari sa mga disipulo nung unang bumaba ang Holy Spirit? Nang sila'y mapuspos ng banal na Espiritu Santo, they began to speak in other tongues. Ibig sabihin ang sabi ni Paul, and as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell as on them, as on, uh, as on us at the beginning. Kung papaanong sa simula ay nangyari din sa atin. Matapos ang ilang taon, ang mga Gentiles naman na tinuturuan ni Paul, sinutu matapos silang maligtas at habang nagtuturo pa siya, ang mga taong ito na tumanggap sa Panginoong Sokristo ay binabaan din ng banal na Espiritu Santo. At ang sabi kagaya natin, sila rin ay nagsalita sa iba't ibang wika. Oh, glory to Jesus. Kung titingnan po natin ang Acts 19, ang Acts chapter 19, kung titingnan po natin sa verse 1 to 6, Acts chapter 19, verse 1 to 6, Acts chapter 19, verse 1 to 6, ito po ang pangyayari. Ang sabi po ron, And it came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus and finding certain disciples. Sir, pwede bang makiabot ng aking Tagalog Bible? He said unto them, Have ye received 
the Holy Ghost since you believe? After 20 years, nung tanggapin ng mga unang ng mga disipulo ang banal na Espiritu Santo, meron pong pangyayari sa Epes, sa Epeso, sa Ephesians, sa Epeso. Sila po ay nagsitanggap sa Panginoong Sokristo. At ang sabi po, sabi po ni Apollo sa kanila, tinanggap ba ninyo, have ye received the Holy Ghost? Ang sabi ng verse 2 ng Acts chapter 19. At tinanong niya, tinanggap ba ninyo, have you received? You see, the word receive are very important or filled na pospos, filled with the Holy Spirit. He said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believe? Tinanggap ba ninyo ang Espiritu Santo nang sumampalataya kayo? Ang sabi nila, hindi po tugon nila. Ni hindi namin narinig na may Espiritu Santo. Verse 3, kung gayon, sa ano kayo nabautismuhan? Tanong niya. Sa bautismo ni Juan, anila. Sinabi ni Pablo, ang bautismo ni Juan ay tanda ng pagsisisi. Sinabi niya sa mga Israelita na dapat silang sumampalataya sa darating na kasunod niya sa makatwid bagay kay Jesus. Nang marinig nila ito, sila ay nagpabautismo sa tubig sa pangalan ng Panginoong Jesus. Verse 6, ipinatong ni Pablo ang kanyang kamay sa kanila bumaba sa kanila. Ibig sabihin, napospo sila. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Pinatong ni Pablo ang kanya kamay sa kanila, bumaba sa kanila, Espiritu Santo, at sila ay nagsalita ng iba't ibang wika at nagpahayag ng salita ng Diyos. Sila ay humigit kumulang sa labindalawang lalaki. And he said unto them, verse 3, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said unto John, and they said, unto John's baptism. Ano po yung John's baptism? Well, ang paglilinis na seremonyang ginagawa nila noon. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. They accepted Jesus. Nagpabautismo sila uli sa tu, nagpabautismo sila sa tubig sa pangalan ng Panginoong Kristo. And matapos 'yon, sabi po ng salita ng Diyos, and when Paul had laid hands upon them, oh, glory to God. The Holy Ghost came on them, and they speak with tongues and prophesied, and all the men were about 12. Mga magulang ko kapatid, since this is just a 30 minutes Bible study, at ayoko na pong dagdagan pa ng another uh, uh, part or part 4 pa about this, uh, why every believer should speak in tongues or 10 reasons why every believer should speak in tongues. This last part ay pinapakita ko po sa inyo na matapos mong tanggapin ang Panginoong Sokristo, meron pong kasunod na magandang dapat mangyari sa isang mana ng palataya ng Panginoong Sokristo. And that is receiving the Holy Spirit or being filled with the Holy Spirit. And the very first, the very, the, the, the initial sign, gusto ito muna, gusto ko maintindihan mo, the initial sign that you are, that you receive and you are filled with the Holy Spirit is you will speak in tongues. Dun po sa mga naunang teaching natin, dito sa programang Cheer Up, The Word Works, mga naunang linggo po, naunang Webes, bago po mangyari ang linggong ito ng Webes, na ipakita po dati doon ang kahalagahan po ng pananalangin sa iba't ibang wika. Ngayon, gusto kong ipakita sa iyo na kung ikaw ay tumanggap sa Panginoong Sokristo, you can receive the Holy Spirit and speak in tongues. How? Very simple. Tulad po sa Acts chapter 2, napakasimple lang. Sila po ay nandun. 
They are expecting the Holy Spirit. Why? Because they are qualified. Remember that it's God who qualified us to be the partakers. Nung Sunday, napag-usapan po natin yun. To be the partakers of divine nature. God qualified us. And, you, uh, and if you accept that Jesus Christ, you are qualified to receive and be filled with the Holy Spirit with the initial sign of speaking in tongues. And it is very important. That is a perfect prayer. Napag-aralan na rin po natin yon sa mga naunang mga araw ng Webes sa programa pong Cheer Up the World Works. Ito pong ginaganap natin ngayon. Sila po ay nakaupo lamang. They are relaxed. But they are expecting the Holy Spirit. And the Bible says, nung sila ay tumanggap, tulad na sabi ni Pablo, eh sa ano, sino ba ang tinanggap? Tinanggap nyo na ba ang banal na Espiritu Santo? Yun din ang tanong ko sa iyo ngayon. At kung ang sagot mo sa akin, hindi pa. At kung ang sagot mo na may, oh, tinanggap ko na, pero you are not speaking in tongues, hindi ka nananalay sa iba, hindi ka nakakapagsasabi at ibang wika, I doubt na tinanggap mo nga. Because the initial sign of those who received and filled with the Holy Spirit is the Holy Spirit will give you the utterance and you will speak in tongues. Well, maaaring ang tinanggap mo, pero hindi mo, hindi mo alam ang gagawin. You have no revelation on what to do. I tell you, ang sabi po ng Bible, nung sila'y mapuspos, mapuno, at tanggapin nila ang banal na Espiritu Santo, they were all filled with the Spirit and began, and began. Nung sila po ay tumagap ng Holy Spirit, they began, nagsimula sila. Sino ang nagsimula? Sila. Yung tumanggap ng Holy Spirit, yung Kristiyano. Sila mismo ang nagsalita sa iba't ibang wika. Saan galing? Sa banal na Espiritu Santo. Mararamdaman mo yan, kapatid. Ang sabi ni Paul, eh, anong tinanggap nyo? Hindi namin po alam ang Holy Spirit. At sila ay nagpabautismo sa tubig. At nang ipatong ni Paul ang kanyang kamay sa kanila, sila ay napuspos ng banal na Espiritu and they speak in other tongues. Don't struggle, kapatid. Ang ginagawa ng iba, kaya hindi, kaya hindi nila maranasan ng initial sign na ito that uh, they are talking to God, speaking to God, hallelujah, by speaking in tongues. Kasi inaantay nila na parang radyo, na may magbubukas at bigla na lang may lalabas doon sa speaker. No! The Bible says they began to speak in other tongues. Kina kailangan mong magsalita. Yung salita na yun ay hindi hallelujah, hindi praise the Lord. Yan po ay salitang naiintindihan natin. Let the Holy Spirit, mararamdaman mo yan, Urragados trenon. Urrabos trenon do la da 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 sa karabaun del estrenante. Once I said, if I said later, receive the Holy Spirit, believe, believe, believe that you receive the Holy Spirit. Believe it. Then began to speak in tongues. That's very simple. Maral, hindi mo maintindihan ang lahat ngayon. Ngunit if you believe that you receive the Holy Spirit and you began at magsimula kang magsalita sa iba't ibang wika, mararamdaman mo yun. Huwag mong pigilin. Let it flow. Let it out. Let it flow. Hallelujah. Minsan na masasabi mo lahat, da-da-da-da, pero huwag ka manatiling ganun. <laughs> mag improve yan. Oh, glory to Jesus. Just relax. You are qualified, kapatid, kung tumanggap ka na sa Panginoong Sokristo. Ngunit katulad nila, they, they receive Jesus. I want all of you right now to receive Jesus first. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe that you gave your life for me. I believe with all of my heart that you have risen, you have risen from, the from the dead. And I now confess, I now confess that, you, that you, Lord Jesus, is my Lord. My Lord. Lord, Jesus, Lord Jesus, I accept you, I accept you as, my as my Lord and Savior, and Savior of, my life. of my life. Thank you, Thank you. for the divine life. For the divine life. Thank, you Thank you for the right, for the right to, become to become a child children or a child, a child. of God. This day, this day, I am ready, I am ready 
to receive the Holy Spirit with the initial sign of speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now be ready, kapatid. Oh, ngayon tinanggap mo ang Panginoong Isus. I want all of you here. Hallelujah. To participate. Brothers and sisters, my friend, I will lay my hands to you. When I say receive the Holy Spirit, you receive it, you are qualified, begun to speak in tongues. Oh, for the first, you can imitate. For the first, just to unlock, I command your mouth to be loose in Jesus' name. Loose from the control of devil, from the control of any demons in Jesus' name. Oh, Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. Now, brothers and sisters, now, 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 receive the Holy Spirit. Now, who recrendere buos to rose para nondem. Come on, Lord, sakade ba sakade de ando? O rose kerende le ando los krahante. O rada da da. Come on, redo soko de de asto. O rado do do soko de de ay ala ando le aspre nondem. Rebo soko de. Come on, redo soko de. Aspre nondem. Come on, come on. You already received the Holy Spirit. Open your mouth. Declare. Open your mouth and speak in tongues as the Holy Spirit gave you utterance. Wag mo pigil and come on, let it blow. Let it blow. Open your mouth. Let it blow. Come on. Let me move your body, Baba. Mag salita ka. Ikaw ay mag salita. Am sa ibinibigay ng banal na Espiritu Santo. Let it blow. Ray mas sa konde. Arlo Rosa. Come on. Shut it out. Shut it out. Isigaw mo kay bigan kapatid. Hurra busker. Come on. Arlo Rosa konde. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it. Hallelujah. Ray mo siya kini mo sa konde. Ray mas babas sa konde. Come on. Ray do 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 sa konde na lande. Ray busker na ondo ro busker na lande. Hurra Baba baba sakarabad, ere asto los krenondo los prenonde, ere dos krenondo lo baba uste, ere da unda kara asto ronde los krenondo los baroske, araba sakane. Come on, oh that's right, that's right, that's it. Ere da sa da 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 hai, ere le undo los krenondo, ere bos krenondo los prenondo kontra hande, ere bos yoko do baba hande. Oh glory glory, oh yes sakonde les tre hande. Thank you Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Kaibigan, kapatid, ini-encourage kitang balikan ng mga nakaraang katuruan. Napakahalaga nito upang maintindihan mo pa ang iyong pananalangin sa iba't ibang wika. This is very powerful. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for sealing them with the, with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, God. Thank you, wonderful, precious Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, robos krenanto, los trenante, redos kredondo los pranante. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Brothers, And sisters, this message is very powerful. Listen to it again and again and again. Believe and apply the Word of God. And again, yung po mga naunang katuruan dito, mahalaga pong maintindihan mo rin. Congratulations. You are now filled with the Holy Spirit. With the initial sign of speaking In tongues. Happy New Year to all of you. Napagandang regalo ng Panginoon para sa iyo kapatid. That you are now filled with the Holy Spirit. You can talk to God. You can talk to God directly by means of speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. Happy New Year and a victorious 2021 to all of you there. Hallelujah. Palapang po natin ating Panginoon. Praise God. Praise God. You are all Blessed. Use the tongues. Bye bye. Do not forget, my brothers and sisters, the word works. Bye bye. Hallelujah.